Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm bringing us a showcase on Lexus Mod Menu. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it because it's probably the biggest, um, it's probably not the biggest menu at the moment, but it's very popular because it is, I, I, well, I'd say, is the top one on the market and it's at a very, very good price. Um, I love this mod menu personally, this is my daily driver that I play with. And uh, yeah, so if you do want to get it, the link is in the description, you can get it at noahsmods.com. And as you, I'm sure you already know, it's a very well-priced mod menu and lifetime as always. And lastly, if you do join my Discord in the description, I'm currently giving away a free license to this. So go ahead and join and enter. Uh, the giveaway ends soon, so you better be quick. And yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, guys. So we have loaded into GTA Online. And as you can see, we've got Lexus right here. And yep, let's just go straight through the features. So we have combat roll, no fall animation, climb ladder, super run, super jump. And you can change your speeds on that. No clip, so you can fly under the map. And as you see, run multiplier, so you run quick, swim multiplier, down to health, being clear, damage, refill all of our different health, and also you can set it so they re automatically refill, which is good. So you can still die, but it's not so obvious in a fight, uh, if that makes sense. Animations, you can basically do any animations. They're kind of the same on every menu, so I don't really want to go through them too much, but they are there for you guys to use. They're pretty cool, especially if you guys like to roleplay and things like that. Divisions, you can turn on thermal vision, uh, you can turn on invincibility, uh, never wanted, clone yourself, respawn, suicide, skydive, wanted level, no ragdoll, don't drag out of car, no sinking, invisibility, uh, change your alpha, uh, peds ignore, you can make it so you swim everywhere, even on land, superman, reduce collision, force field, shrink, dragon, and then you can put yourself in, you can put the bat, yourself into a bad sport lobby on take it away. Now onto network options. So we have uh, th different things to do to different players. You control them and everything. Uh, now onto money drops. You can drop XP and money, uh, and you can choose which one, which kinds you want to drop. Uh, impact bullets. Every time you shoot, you can set a certain time of impact. You can do f full upgrades on your weapons. And hostile options. You can explode annoying sounds, attackers, uh, much more. You can give them wanted level. Put a clone cage, electrify them. There's lots of griefing options in this menu, and you will not get bored. Now onto protections. I'm not going to go through all the protections because there's a lot of them, but and they're sort of the same. But what I can say is, with this menu, you won't have any problems. Now onto recovery options. So firstly, we have passive income, and if you turn this on, you're just going to constantly get like a certain amount of money every few seconds. Basically, just leave this on. How you can play and this is the safest money method uh, but you also do have the uh, 15 million triggers and stuff if you want to get money real quick you can set your level to anything you can unlock all the dlcs and stuff all the unlocks any updates you can do them all uh max armor max snacks and that kind of stuff now single player options you can edit franklin and uh, everyone's money which is always nice to have uh, you can edit your wins and losses outfit editor a uh, stat editor and then miscellaneous you can change your mental state uh, popularity bypass tutorial and that and fast run and money. Now onto transitions, so this is when you're teleporting, you can ch uh, change the settings to see how quick it will go and what kind of animations you'll have, which is quite cool. Uh, matchmaking sessions, uh, these are all sort of toolbox for your uh, the session you're in, you can do a lot of things, there's a lot of features here, and I um, very, and onto spoofing, you can spoof your token, your crew, stats, rotation, model, wanted level, waypoint, language, and more. Onto friends, uh, you can just basically do the same kind of things to your friends. Now into casino options, you can uh, rig the lucky wheel to win whatever you want. You can reset a ban and you can make the sl slot machines go whatever you want. And same with blackjack. Uh, and also onto roulette, you can choose to break all tails. Onto file manager, here is where you can open in custom like cars and things like that. Um, onto disables, you can disable a bunch of things. Uh, notifications. Uh, now onto vehicle spawner. We can basically spawn any vehicle in the game. So let's go get into a vehicle real quick. Uh, we have weapon mods, so we can give um, our vehicle. Uh, let's do ve We can give our vehicle and ourselves different weapon modifications: gravity gun, bypass limit, uh, visuals, unlimited ammo, unlimited parachutes, instant kill, explosive ammo, uh, explosive uh, incendiary ammo, explosive melee, uh, teleport, delete, and you can also do a delete gun. So this means every time we shoot at something, it's going to delete it. Teleport gun. Every time you shoot, you teleport. Airstrike, cool in airstrikes as you can see. Money gun um, will shoot bags of money that people can go and pick up and collect. And now if you go and run, you can pick up the money and you get 2,000 each time. Deadeye, uh, rope gun where you can connect things together. This is one of my favorite uh, favorite features. And then when you, let's say if you drive off in this car, it's gonna pull the plane. Log info, vehicle hijack, ped hijack, rapid fire, orbital kills, apply force, fly. And that's it for weapon mods. Now onto our vehicle options. We have uh, Los Santos Customs. You can repair, wash, data, auto repair and upgrade. Multipliers, speed up multipliers, uh, movement, uh, garage, uh, weapons, countermeasures, stunts, uh, horn boost, and as you see now we're pulling the plane, 
and it's actually a very good uh, effect. This is not glitchy at all. And there it goes. Uh, it's even no, it's very smooth. This is probably one of the best rope guns I've ever seen on a mod menu. It's very well executed. Uh, screen effects, sound, speed, uh, parachute options, uh, disable jump limitation, instant break, uh, drift, wheelie. So even a car can do a wheelie now and you can choose what keybind you do it. So currently it's control and I'm holding control and now my uh, my truck, whatever this is, is doing a wheelie. Model modifications, a garage, weapons, countermeasures. It's this way instant delivering when you buy a garage. Toggle weapons, so now you can shoot rockets from even your car. Back good, and you can change the range, the speed, and how much damage they do. Uh, you can also set the red things to show where they're aiming. Onto doors, you can open all your doors, lock them, and unlock them. Uh, cut your cargo bob, you can spawn a cargo bob. Uh, make your vehicle invisible, invincible, no sinking, speedometers, fully upgrade, downgrade, clone, and delete. Now, onto teleport options. Uh, you can basically just teleport anywhere in the world. There's just different settings, and you can choose to waypoint, the nearest player, that kind of stuff. Basically, what you'd expect from a mod menu, very well executed as well. You can teleport forward and stuff like that. Onto the world options, you can change the time. You can freeze it always night, always day. Sync it with your system time. Uh, weather, you can clear. You can change the weather and stuff like that. Force lightning. You can even change the clouds to any number of different uh, possible ones. I don't even know what all of these ones are. To be fair, I have no idea what clouds, what the names of the clouds. But there you go. You can do them. I didn't even know there was this many clouds. Real, realistically, hit markers, waypoints, battle turrets, clear area, bodyguards, density, nearby entities, VFX, and more. Now into miscellaneous. You have uh, you can cheat name, uh, FPS counter, disables, uh, game time, lots of different things. There's so many options in here. Uh, you can disable things like idle kick, idle cam, phone call, HUD, stuff like that. I love to disable phone because I cannot stand the calls personally. You can block reports, uh, camera, HUD, instant respawn, script audio. That, uh, you can give spect uh, spectator money. So you, it adds the uh, commas to it so you can actually count how much you have. Privacy mode, mouse input, clear notify. And lastly, we can search for options. So I hope you guys like this showcase. If you do want to get it, link is in the description. And thanks for watching.